Hi, my name is Kevin Senzaki, and this is Rocket Jump Oh Magic School. So. Thanks, Ray. Uh, today we're going to be building the Free Fly Tarot, which we actually used on one of our shorts. The first short, High Plains Drifter, which we used the tarot around horses. So we want to introduce you guys to this awesome piece of equipment. And we'll talk a little bit about our use of it and uh, the ins and outs of driving around your very expensive camera on an RC car. Well, Matt was doing that. It's very dangerous. You also want to use the Tarot with the Freefly Movi, which is usually the M10 or the M5. I'm a huge camera gear nerd, so when the M10 came out, we actually bought that with our own cold hard cash. But the Tarot here was actually supplied to us by Freefly Systems. They shipped it down from Seattle for uh, use in High Plains Drifter. All right, what do, you want, what do you want to cover first, the build? The build. I need a camera to bounce off of that. I'll, go, I'll grab you a okay. camera. First things first. Just shake it until it works. This is gonna be the stand, which you base off of it. It's a very complicated looking piece of machinery, but really actually not that complex. It's really just a um, gimbal here to stabilize uh, pan, roll, and tilt. So it's basically your three axes. So balancing the Moby is a whole separate video and we're going to have that come up next year in 2016. Or, or it could be 2016 right now and it's ready, in which case you can click here. If there's nothing in front of my finger. It's like time travel. Then you gotta wait. Oh crap. But if there is, click on it. Oh ah, look, we balanced it. Look, it's all done. It's all ready to go. Uh, so as I said, this will reduce pan. So this kind of motion, you'll notice it's not going anywhere. Tilt, not doing much and roll so you can do weird, crazy stuff like this. And it's like, whoa, it's not going anywhere. Relatively stable. Once it's bouncing good to go, you can shut it off because we're gonna transfer it over now to the tarot. First things first, uh, this is the yeah, remote control. It's a remote control car. Sweet. Uh, Which, oh. go. So one thing that we have done on this is we put a weight uh, right here. This is just a Red Rock camera weight. A little aftermarket uh, modification with gaff tape. It keeps the center of gravity a little bit lower and when you're doing hard turns, uh, especially once you have the whole setup on there, there is a potential of it to get a little rocky. So the, we found like just again, it's only two pounds, but it helps It helps keep it more stable. That seems to be a good rule of thumb with any moving camera piece, like dollies, sliders, anything like that. The more, what did you do? I dropped something. So we have a square cheese plate style mounting plate and with the uh, four holes in the middle. And we're going to interface this with the Moby, we're gonna go through uh, the Free Fly Ninja Star. So sit on top like that, screw it all in, and then it'll uh, sit on top, so. The montage time, because it's just a bunch dun, of No instructions. These little screws go into the Ninja Star. I think I'm doing this right. Oh, I did it in the wrong order. I lied. This the Ninja Star goes on second. Oh, the Ninja Star plate goes on to, to the, the Movi. Movi first. After you take it off of the handlebar. Yep. There. Then there we go. Here we go. You take the other plate. The cheese plate. The cheese plate. Swiss cheese was very much a post-World War II invention. Because, uh, oh no, I'm sorry, pre-World War II because of rationing, right? Because you have the holes in the cheese is less cheese. Crackage up cheese school. Now the plate goes onto the other part. If you're looking for hot whispery voices, then you've come to the right channel. Here at the Rocket Jump Film School, we cater to all manner of proclivities and tastes when it comes to Whispery videos. Lunch is the best meal. 
Lunch is the best meal. Breakfast sucks. Woo -hoo -hoo! All right, so now we have. So we have the M10. M10 here, screwed into the uh, plate, the base plate. And we've inverted it, right? And it's upside down now. That's right. So you want to make sure that any cables or stuff like that is tucked away so they can spin freely. That's basically it. And then once we get this up here. So now that's on the, the, uh, the tarot here, uh, mm -hmm. you're not gonna control it by moving it. Obviously you're gonna control it with uh, this. Uh, the Spectrum DX7, mm -hmm. you can program these to do anything. You can fly a quadcopter with this. You can use it to drive cars around. In this case, it's controlling just the Mobi. Now, to see what you have coming out of it, there's a lot of equipment involved here. Uh, to see what you have coming out of it, you need a wireless video system. Wireless because you don't want to be tethered to this thing. It's going to be speeding around set. Any sort of wireless system, This you take the HDMI or SDI out from the camera and then hook it up to a monitor and you get to see what you're doing. Before. Our first AC, Alicia, with the monitor with our remote follow focus and she was pulling focus on most of the tarot stuff mm -hmm. um, throughout the day. So we wanted on high planes, we wanted some shots to whip by and go past horses from a low angle. So looking around, you know, we saw the tarot as a way of getting fast, low angle shots at horse leg height. And we're like, this is gonna be perfect for High Plains Drifter. So some of the stuff that we learned was, first and foremost, uh, dirt roads does not let it uh, grip very well, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, the way we counteracted that was we added a weight here to bring the weight down a little bit more. And a lot of times for the shots where we needed to start off, relatively quickly and not have it spin its wheels when it went, we would put like a piece of wood or a piece of plywood underneath the back tire so that it had a little bit of momentum uh, going into that. It was very stable, even on a dirt road. There's three things going on here. You have the shocks of the vehicle helping it out. You have this wire frame uh, additional shock mount here helping it out. And then you have the gimbals themselves holding it in position. So we were able to get very, very cool, very smooth shots. Did you this camera. do any image stabilization after, or was it, it was Occ a minimal amount? Not really, amount. occasionally, if we were punching in and you see a little bit of jitter, we'd pop like warp stabilize on it and, mm -hmm. and warp stabilizer just took care of it. Uh, very, very little additional uh, stabilization was necessary with this. Because again, you're having three different mechanical things trying to hold it uh, steady and hold the camera steady. Mm -hmm. And that's basically, the tarot. Yeah. Uh, we mentioned it kind of very briefly in the mm -hmm. show, but I'm sure some of you gearheads out there are like, hey, what is that? How are they using that? And the thinking behind it. So we want to give you kind of an in-depth uh, look at why we used a remote control car and the kind of shots that we had. So we want to do more gear oriented videos. So we're going to start showing you different tools and introducing you to both tools that, you know, you're familiar with, but also things like the tarot that you might not have access to yet. So we want to just get you guys familiar. Um, and if you have equipment that you're curious about, let us know in the comments, talk to us on the forums, tweet us um, so we can get our hands on it and explore it and uh, start testing stuff out. And we will show you how to balance the Movi because that's a whole, that's a whole thing. As one of the world's foremost Movi balancers, I can Top, the whole in process. the top 10,000. Top 10,000 in the of world. Movie Movie balancers. balancers. Not quite operators, and I haven't cracked the top 10,000 operators yet, but boy, can I balance this thing. Look forward to that. Or if it's already out, click on it now. It's going to be here in 2016. <laughs> or right now. Or right now, if it is 2016. Time travel. Or in the past. Oh, dang. Right? No, wait. Yeah, think about it. We got to end this video now. Okay. Okay. I'm not stopping you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.